Fourth all-time meeting between these two teams. Dayton leads the series two games to one, and the Flyers control to start. What? They made a lot of noise unexpectedly, and again, because of freshman playing, but the freshman came on strong. Talking about Devin Ebanks, who's a tremendous rebounder. Daryl Bryant, nicknamed Truck. Those guys have really gotten the job done for West Virginia all season. Little spinning down the lane, and Dayton is on the board. Third freshman, Kevin Jones, coming off the bench. Another guy to contribute. Rue off in the corner, Butler deep. Way short on that one. The rebound inside, though, goes to Eubanks. Here comes Tank for three, and hits. So, so Bryant, excuse me, Truck Bryant, knocks down that jumper. He's from Brooklyn, New York. And Dayton goes inside. Charles Little. Right, swings it. Cut off, driving, almost turned it over with 15 to shoot as they get it back to Warren to reshuffle. Warren, very quick baseline jump shot, and that goes down for Marcus Johnson. Air presence of mind to knock the ball off the opponent. Little popping out. You see both teams pull guys out high. They don't have a conventional big guy inside to dump it down to. Johnson gets his own rebound and stick back. Ebanks got to go after with two hands, though. He missed an opportunity trying to catch that last pass with one. And Smith off the mark, but a turnover. Flowers picks it up. Ahead, you Ebanks, rather, lays it up and in. Ebanks. And that's Devin e Dayton with the basketball. And I tell you what, defensively, they really guard your length. Well, on both ends of the floor, this is a deep team. They've got 10 players with 11-plus minutes per game. And the Jacksonville Jet getting to the basket. London Warren with his first bucket. Under 14 to play. And here's the 1-3-1, one, one, and you take a look at Ebanks with those long arms at the top. They kind of funnel the passer to where they want him to go. But Johnson... Barry's one on the baseline. That's a three-point field goal. And Dayton takes a 14-10 lead. Johnson off to a good start with eight points on three of four shooting. Inside. Jones with no room. Ebanks off the dribble. Oh, beautiful swooping layup at his alma mater, West Virginia. He came over from Kansas State where he had spent only one season. Prior to that, long run at two, Cincinnati. Two years at West Virginia, two years in the NCAA tournament. 13-1 and one all time, Bob Huggins against Dayton. Warren, no look pass, great catch, little pump fake and banks it in. London Warren. Thurman. Looking inside and he throws it away. Intended for Kevin Jones. Perry the other way. And if you listen to this crowd, unlike the first game with a highly partisan Bison fan. Largest lead of the game now for Dayton. Ruoff, quick release, and hits. Well, there's the catch and shoot. They gave him room. That's the one thing you don't want to do with Alex Ruoff. You got to get up and get in his grill, make him put it on the floor. 18-15. Grew off with his first basket of the game. He averages 16 a game. Deep jump shot. And that one answered by Paul Williams. Well, their leading scorer, Chris Wright, scoring a point. 0 for 1, 0 points. Has it inside, though. And, and for Dayton, they've got to be careful now. And second lowest free throw percentage in the A-10. Deshaun Butler turn around. Give them a big offensive lift. Bryant penetrating. And he muscles his way to the basket. His nickname is Truck. That's because as a young guy, he didn't know how to stop and pull up and take a jumper. He would just truck his way to the basket just like he did there. 23 to 19. Right driving. Double clutch, contested. Little takes it away. New shot clock for the Flyers. Johnson three. And Ruoff has the rebound. West Virginia trying to find their rhythm. Butler lost it. 
Warren. Nobody stopped him. Right there for the foul. Once again, offensive success over the last four years with a broken foot in the Big East Championship. And he's just there, moral support for his teammates. Right, pounds it down on a quick first step. His teammate, from what I understand in practice, called themselves Gail Goodrich and Jerry West. And we'll have to tell Lucas and Mo Howard about that. <laughs> they're the ones who used to get buried by those jumpers. Inside right, scoop shot goes down. See that long first step by Wright, who now has eight points to give Dayton a 30 to 22 lead. Ruoff, soft to the hole, but the rebound. Johnson curling. Warren, not a threat to shoot from the perimeter. When you talk about not having a conventional big man, Dayton plays a lot. Five guys out, leaving the middle open so the guards can penetrate and kick just like that. Right, there he's a three. Wright has been terrific. With 11 points in the first half. Hulesman turn around, jump shot. And Wellington Smith has the rebound. Ebanks in the front court, driving. Leans in. Can't get the roll, but the rebound and stick back is there. Well, they've got to use a little bit of their the aggression of Dayton's defense. They've got to use it against them. And see a lot of opportunities for back doors and situations where you get guys you know, out of the passing lanes and also being able to put it on the floor and drive to the basket. Dayton, second chance opportunities. They're taking full advantage. And Wright continues to play well. He had 11 in the first half, now 13. As the Flyers take a seven-point advantage. Ebanks baseline. Well, really moving around now for West Virginia Ruoff. Well, they're doing a better job of moving it, but Ruoff again, not a guy off the bounce. Ooh, nice say. spin, man. Beautiful. Ernestine Grigsby is her name. Boy, Brian Warren looked like he was going to draw a charge. Johnson curling. Right. Cut off. Baseline. Up and in. Beautifully done. Charles Little hanging in the air. And Little with eight points. Amy got in their faces. Trying to pick up their energy level. Well, again, from a scoring standpoint, with Ruoff out, even more pressure on Deshaun Butler. Try to score, and there he goes. Nice entry pass from and others will try to get higher percentage shots. But you can't even get a higher percentage shot than that. Bryant passes up the 20-foot jump shot. Shot clock down. Butler fades. Long rebound. Tracked down by London Ward. Here comes the Jacksonville Jets. Nice pass! Even on the secondary game, a guy who understands how to play defense in the paint. West Virginia not really doing a good enough job guarding the paint in transition. There's Bryant, though, trying to continue the pressure on Dayton on the offense. Truck Bryant with 15 points inside Hulesman. They swing it. Hulesman again, jump hook. That's goaltending. Right, it's got it. Hulesman gets point blank position for that layup. Or the jump hook. Bryant to Flowers. Ebanks and Jones. Butler also on the floor. Ebanks curling down the lane. Bam! Johnson trying to split the screen. Butler, bank shot good. Would have been better off going underneath that screen. Virginia. Led by their freshman. Ebanks and Truck Bryant. Bryant with 15 points. Bryant, deep jump shot. Got it again. Range. And Bryant is a pretty good three point shooter. 36 percent. Wow, right. 8.18 to play, second half. Dayton has led most of the way. Little gone to that spin a number of times, and it works. He gets the bounce. Three fouls. Bryant got his man in the air. Rejected. 
Outlet pass. Here comes Wright. Dayton doing it with defense. West Virginia has not had an answer for Mr. Wright. And every right. answer they've had has been wrong. Inside, Ruoff, nice position as he sealed his man. Freshman in this pressure pack situation to have to do it by themselves. Ruoff with seven points. 59-56, Little. Jump shot and another great bounce for him. Boy, Dayton just dialing up the mid-range game as they continue to, to get the ball inside, off the dribble back people down, use their strength to get the shots they want. Charles Little with 14, baseline, Ruoff on the bounce, inside, and he gets the roll. Now Ruoff starting to switch his game up and go to the rack. That's right, with a little more than two minutes left, you talk about senior urgency. This could be the last game Alex Ruoff plays in his college career. 61-58, two minutes to play. And you know he doesn't want to go out like this. Not at all. Dayton, two minutes away from an upset. Little, he likes to spin here. This time he does it. Oh! oh! Count it and the foul! He switched it up! You talk about Alex Ruoff not wanting to go out like this. But well, here it comes. Ruoff looked like he had pretty good position right there. He gets his hands up. Does he reach down? Boy, I don't know. That is a tough... And welcome back. A minute to play. Dayton trying to play keep away up. 63-58. Warren backs it up. You got a foul. I mean, this is not a good free throw shooting team in West Virginia. And Little. West Virginia trying to come back. Butler down the lane. No, but the tip jam is there for Ebanks. Short on the free throw. Butler, 66-60, and they turned it over. Wow. Point line. And sometimes for them. Well, that's the understanding the time and the score and recognizing what's appropriate in a particular situation. Bryant, 22 seconds to go. Well, the freshmen did their job. We talked about freshmen had to deliver. It was the veterans. It was the veterans who didn't do their four and one now. At West Virginia, just wasn't his day. Offensive rebound, fittingly right. That's his tenth double double. Twenty-seven and ten, and Dayton defeats West Virginia by eight, sixty-eight. 60.